Dr. Nate here and I want to talk to you about something that people have been asking me a lot about lately and that is why the heck braces are so darn expensive. I'm going to talk to you about that. I'm going to let you in on a few secrets. So cue the theme music and we'll be back in one second to talk to you about why braces are so expensive. So the question is this, how do we get better, more informed patients and run successful businesses? How can I get the information I've learned from opening multiple dental offices and treating thousands of patients out to you? Those are the questions and my weekly videos will give you the answers. My name is Dr. Nate and welcome to the Thrive Dental and Orthodontics channel. All right guys, so why are braces so expensive? Let's talk about a few reasons. Number one is the product itself. Braces cost, you know, it costs to make braces, just like it costs to make this camera, just like it costs to make this office. Braces cost a certain amount, and obviously you are paying for that product, and that is why clear braces cost more than metal braces. It's just because it costs more to fabricate the actual braces. And that is also why Invisalign costs more than braces. And people are still not sure about that, but when they come to our office, I always tell them that Invisalign costs more. Why? Not because it's some miraculous product that is the best thing in the absolute world, although I do believe Invisalign is great. Um, it is just because that physical product costs so much more to make because they're sending it off to certain places, they're fabricating it, they're doing all these 3D models, there's thousands of people working at the company, so it just costs money to make the physical product, and that is why certain braces cost more. Metal are the most affordable, then clear, and then Invisalign's kind of way up there. Sometimes there's lingual braces as well, and those cost quite a bit too, and just because the physical product costs a lot of money. So number one, the product itself, braces, or whatever you're using to move your teeth, cost money. Number two, let's think about how many visits you're coming in for. So if you're coming in for just a filling, just one filling, you know, you have a cavity that you need to get fixed, you're coming in likely for just that one visit, boom, in and out, you're probably in and out within 30 minutes. If it's one filling, it's something super quick, and that is it, you're done, easy peasy. If you're coming for braces or Invisalign or clear braces, you're likely coming in for two years. You're coming in maybe every four to six to eight weeks and sometimes more frequently towards the end. So you're coming in for a lot of visits. Every time you're coming in, you're taking up doctor time. So you're taking up my time or some other doctor's time. You're taking up assistance time. You know, you're in the office. It's just from the sheer amount of visits. So remember, if you're coming in for filling, it's probably one visit. If it's a crown, maybe two visits, something along those lines. But if you're coming in for braces or Invisalign, you're likely coming in for you know, at least a dozen or more visits. So it's just a matter of actual time you're in the office. Number three, I'm gonna kind of combine two together, and that is the products you're gonna use after braces. So remember, not when you finish braces. If you finish braces, you're not done with me or your orthodontist, just FYI, you're not done. After you're done with braces or Invisalign, you're gonna get retainers, and retainers, just like braces, cost money to make retainers. Not only that, you'll probably come for some visits after braces or Invisalign so that we can check up on the retainers, make sure everything looks really good. You may even get permanent retainers. That costs to make permanent retainers as well. Not only that, on top of that, you have other things like x-rays and we're giving you pamphlets, we're giving you all sorts of informational things. All of these things cost money. So you have the three things or the three main reasons why braces cost so much. Number one is the physical product itself, braces and Invisalign cost money to physically make it. The amount of visits you're coming in for, remember if you're coming in for one filling, you're gonna come in for a lot more visits than, or so if you're coming in for filling, you're probably gonna come in for one visit, but if you're coming in for braces or Invisalign, you're gonna be coming in for a lot of visits. Visits, 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 um, for at least probably on average a couple years. And then third is the stuff you're gonna do after braces. Remember that stuff like retainers, we're taking x-rays, we're giving you informational stuff, plus, we're gonna still see you for probably at least a year, maybe more, after you're done your treatment so there's a ton of visits. So, that is why braces cost so much, but I want to talk to you about how much they actually cost and our reference and how things cost. So let's think about this for one second. If you have an iPhone, which I have an iPhone, think about how much money that is and how much that costs you a month. Or, how about that iPhone or that Samsung or whatever you have, plus your phone bill. You know, we have one, and it's my wife and I, and it costs us roughly-ish, a hundred bucks each a month for just a phone, you know, just a little phone and using it and all that good stuff. So that is roughly a hundred bucks a month. Guess how much braces cost? They cost roughly a hundred-ish dollars a month. And if you have insurance, it can actually be less 
than 100 bucks a month. So sometimes what people do is, and, and every office is different, but for us, we give you three options to pay. We say, hey, if you have the money, pay in full, cool, we're gonna give you a discount. That's great, have the money, boom, done. Um, number two is something called Care Credit. Care Credit can allow you to extend payments up to, I think, five years. That is crazy. So you can, be, you can pay like 50 bucks a month, but you can be paying it for a long time. I don't like to do that, but some people like that because they want the low monthly payments, but that is the second option. The third option is just in-office financing. And for that, we do not look at your credit. Everybody qualifies for this. And if you have insurance, sometimes your payments are going to be less than $100 a month. If you don't have insurance, it's probably going to be maybe like 100, 150, 180 or something along those lines, depending on the treatment time and all that good stuff. So yes, I agree. Braces are expensive. You know, I'd say on average, you're anywhere from four to 6,000, depending on the case. And I've had other videos, videos about that. But when you break it down and you look at other things and how much other things cost, it's not that crazy, you know? Spending 100 or 150 or 200 bucks a month on something that is gonna make your life forever better, I think it's great. So I've talked about this before, but if you have straight teeth, you're more viewed as more successful, you're probably gonna have a better lifestyle, um, you're probably gonna feel a lot more confident, which is absolutely gonna change your whole life. I've done other videos on how much braces have changed my life personally, that's why I'm so passionate about it, but that's why I think it's such an amazing investment. So there you guys have it. That is the reason that braces are so expensive. And if we break it down, I think it's a little bit more affordable than some people think, but that is the three main reasons why braces are so expensive. Thank you so much for watching. That is why braces are so expensive. If you've had any value in this video or any of the other videos I've done, please subscribe below. And as you know, I'm trying to answer all your questions. I'm putting out videos every single week on everything that's related to braces, dental, business. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week.